Hi there learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about percentages um, and we've actually got a few that we need to get through but for this video we're looking at calculating the percentage of only one value. Now before we go any further just remember it is important to note that there are different ways um, that percentages are expressed right so for example I might have 15 percent over here and that is the same as me saying 15 over 100 and it's the same as me saying 0 comma 1 5 so they are all the same okay but it's still 15 percent if I use 40 percent as another example that's going to be 40 over 100 and it's going to be 0 comma 4 right expressed differently but it's still the same so let's look at how we are going to calculate the percentage of one value and in it's a just a typical example um, we want to calculate 75 percent and they like to use uh, this a little word of which tells us it's going to be multiplying uh, but it's of and then they tell us 5000 rand so on your calculator there are really three ways of doing this method one that would simply be to say on your calculator 75 percent multiplied by 5000 method two this would be to say zero point remember the other way of expressing our percentage 0 0.75 multiplied by 5000 or you could use method 3 where we would be saying 75 divided by 100 multiplied by 5000 and remember according to bod mass it will do the division first and then the multiplication ultimately you should get an answer of 3750 and that is 75% of our 5,000. And that's how we calculate the percentage of only one value. They want 5% of, which usually tells us multiplying, 3.5, and this time it's hours, okay? It's now not a monetary figure. We're now looking at 3.5 hours. So again, what does method one tell us? Tells us to say 5% multiplied by 3.5. Method two, what does that tell us? Tells us to go the decimal root. So remember it's 5%. So it'll be 0 0.05 multiplied by 3.5 and then method three what is that going to be we're going to say the five divided by 100 multiplied by 3.5 and ultimately what are you going to have you're going to end up with 0 0.175 hours which is going to end up being 10 minutes and 30 seconds